Hey everybody, this is the artist Machiavelli, and this is part two to my 2012 Antioch Shrine Circus video breakdown. Um, if you watched my last video, I did a breakdown of this coloring book, and I also did a breakdown of the clown cards that came inside of it. Uh, I just wanted to point out a couple of the ads and the pictures in here and go into a little bit more detail than my last video. Um, so as you see on the cover here, you have the clown character, the little horn that he shows right here in his hand, and he also shows you that he's making the V right here, and he also has the flower, the wheels of tribulation. Clowns are cool, repeated three times here in this strategically placed uh, arrangement of the stickers, and then you have this strange uh, uh, writing here that this child supposedly wrote, I am play the game. Um, now, if you watched my last video, you might have seen a couple of these that I showed, and I just kind of uh, grabbed a couple extra ones so I could point them out. Here again, you have the little horn being shown with the clown. You have the all the Masonic uh, emblems, and then you see all of the different advertisements and all of these people are masons or shriners themselves all of the ads you see in here and you might recognize some of them um, all of these people are complicit here you have the clown character showing off the false idol and has his as he's looking at the Jesus character here this is the end of this and the beginning of this all brought about by this character it Pennywise, the clown. Here's the low rider. All of these things are picked specifically by the Masons because they know what they're doing. See the hand, the V, and the false idol. Many times they show the elephant standing up on two or three feet. It represents ascension or some kind of, uh, you know, um, evolution of the species, evolution of the elephant into the false idol, something more than it is. The eye, the wheel, the six. <clears throat> A low rider again. Um, here you have the false prophet, the eye poked out, the left eye, balancing the globe, or with the globe, you know, um, holding it up according to how he sees fit with the clown character running the whole show from the background right there every child needs a role model and the masons are there for that believe me they get them while they're young that's how they get such a tight grip in society here the clown is shown with a gun and with the Shriner Masonic emblem hanging here from the sword. And then you got the main clown here fishing, fly fishing. The fish, the Jesus fish. So he's fishing for souls here as they get away. Right here. Here you have the clown character doing the V. Uh, doing tricks and explaining to the dog, the dog star, pointing up, saying, time to go, dog star. Very symbolic to the Masons, very symbolic to the Christians, or most of them. Here you again, the elephant, uh, three legs only. Here you have the PNC bank logo right next to the Masonic logo. You see, it's all the exact same, it's all the same ad, you know, it's all the, the same stuff. These guys are all the same company. Look at this, Indianapolis, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, you know, it's just one segment of the New World Order, of the Illuminati, one little chapter. The elephant ascending up, the false prophet, again, on, off of all four legs. It's just the same themes over and over and over and over and over again. The Masons aren't creative. They, their power is in redundancy. Here you have, you know, the false prophet doing tricks. All the people are out here watching. 
and the rainbow, the nukes. The rainbow is a side effect of the nuclear weapons. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> here you have <clears throat> the clown with the mark of the beast on his forehead and one <clears throat> sorry, one star underneath his eye. <clears throat> Something with the eyes, the flower, the wheel of the tribulation, doing the hand symbol here. And they're always shown with birds as well, a lot of times, for some reason. Elephant. You see, six, six. Where's the other one? Boom, right there. Six. You know, it's not a coincidence. And once again, off, not on all four legs, ascending, the dog, weighing more than the false prophet. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Here you have... <clears throat> Look at that, false prophet lighting the bomb, the nukes, it's always shown. Here you have the false prophet, or the clown character, with the bird once again, and the clown, or the egg, the uh, mystery egg. World War Three, the New World Order, that whole thing, the little horn specific hand gestures here. Once again you have it, the clown character, taming the dog, and you see this mythical creature maybe representing Jesus kind of looking on like you gotta be kidding me. Right there. Elephant once again shown ascending in every single depiction of the elephant of the false prophet, he is always ascending three balloons. Very strange one here, the one-eyed beast, some other, you know, hobo looking guy, whatever, both with paint to do the mark of the beast on the people. And then you have the false idol here, the clown, it, that demon character, that's that's the repeating character, you know, leading both of these beasts right there. This is a kid's coloring book. I mean, it's it's very disgusting. <clears throat> the clown character, and this time you see the leopard, which is representing Obama, doing tricks. This is the puppet master. Notice the specific hand gesture. Once again, Obama, doing as he's told, going in the direction he is told to go. Um, there might be a couple more. I think you're kind of getting the gist of it. This is an actual advertisement for the clown circus, for the shrine circus, and look at that. I mean, it's just right in your face. Hand gestures. All this stuff. This secretive stuff. I mean, you know, once again, the CC, the 33, the little horn. Wheels of Tribulation. Technology. You know, having a mind of its own. It's all part of the Mark of the Beast. Here you have <clears throat> Donald Duck wrapping things up, coming to the end. You have the list of the signatures. You can go through all these people's names and put them online. I don't know if they'd like that or not. And <clears throat> right here we have the Advertisers Index. By category, you know, the banking industry... All these different industries, architects, gas stations, you know, um, heating and air, HVAC stuff. I've done some breakdowns of that. Medical, machine shops, hotels, signs, skincare, restaurants, all Masonic organizations, all complicit in genocide and mass murder, all of them complicit with the New World Order and uh, the coming. Uh, times of tribulation. They all want it to come. They all want it to happen. And they keep showing it and perpetuating the idea even in this propaganda meant for the kids. And that's it for today.